Hi guys, uh, just want to educate you all on a small thing uh, that is what you call the total daily energy expenditure which is TDEE. -E. Uh, when you do exercise or um, maybe outdoor running uh, to lose weight, to gain weight or keep the same weight level, uh, this is very important. Uh, and uh, if somebody knows, I think you're on the correct track. Uh, and just check with your trainers also when you get to the gym after this uh, uh, curfew, uh, whether they know about it and what they have done about it. So I'll just explain you the whole thing and, uh, um, and how to calculate. I have taken the most simplest way. There are many ways to calculate with different equations. But I have taken the simplest way to calculate because uh, we are not looking at uh, high-end athlete level. Uh, this is for normal uh, people like you and me. Um, so to calculate the total daily energy expenditure, um, what is total daily expenditure is the amount of calories that you need uh, for a day for your activity. So your one activity is your organs inside the body. Your organs need a certain amount of calories uh, for them to work. And uh, the next one is uh, um, to digest your food. There is some calories uh, it is expected. Then um, you may be... Uh, walking in the office, you know, going from um, home to office, maybe walking, uh, riding, um, anything that you do other than uh, real physical activity. So that is uh, another one that you need calories. Then the physical activity, right? So physical activity, there are so many ways, you know, if you're a high level athlete, you burn more calories, you are an active person, you know, light activity person there is a calorie amount of calories that you burn and if you are a person who is sedentary uh, you don't do anything so you don't burn uh, in that way calories right so you need to consider all these four when you calculate the uh, total daily energy expenditure uh, so let's go to the board uh, i will explain you uh, further okay let's see how to calculate TDEE, -E, which is total daily energy expenditure, right? There are, as I mentioned, there are four uh, energy expenditures uh, that happens uh, for a person during the day. Uh, one is BMR, which is basal metabolic rate. Uh, that is what you need, uh, the amount of calories that you need for your organs to work uh, inside your body. Then TEF, thermic effect of feeding or food that is the energy that you need uh, to digest your food then EEE -E -E, which is exercise energy expenditure um, if you are a very active person or you do light activity you go to gym uh, you do any sport right that's the amount of uh, calories that you uh, burn during that activity then NEAT, non-activity thermogenesis. That means um, during the day you may be working, you're walk, walking to the washroom, you're coming back, you're sitting, you're going around the office, uh, maybe at home you're walking around, making food. That kind of activity uh, includes that. So that also you need some sort of uh, calories uh, to uh, do those activities. So let's go to the real calculation. So TDD TDEE -E equals BMR plus TEF plus EEE -E -E plus NEAT. Right? Uh, let's take BMR. 
there are many ways to calculate BMR, but I have taken the most simplest way because I'm not calculating uh, the energy expenditure or BMR to a high level athlete, right? So if you go to YouTube and all, you will see uh, different ways of people calculating this, but uh, I'm not talking about that. I'm, the, I'm taking the most simplest way. So body weight into 20, that's the formula. So 20 is a norm, right? So I have taken my body weight, right? which is 90 kilos, body weight you need to take it in kilos, 90 kilos into 20, that is 1,800 calories. So my body organs to work during the day, function well, I need 1,800 calories. Then uh, TEF, right, that is uh, to uh, the calories that you need to digest your food, right, which is uh, thermic, effect of energy, right? Uh, so it's BMR into 0.1, right? So BMR into 0 0.1, 1,800 into 0 0.1, which is 180 calories, which I need to, uh, my food to di digest, uh, 180 calories you need. Then I have taken myself as a uh, light activity person, right? Who, uh, who is a person who is doing light activity uh, like the workouts that I showed you during the last two days so during those I may burn about 250 calories right uh, so that's there then uh, the other one is non-activity thermogenesis that is um, the, the, the other activities that you do during you walking to office walking in the office going to washroom all those stuff um, we have put around 250 calories per day. Um, just think what you do during the day and uh, come up with a calorie count. It's about 250 uh, for average person. So you add 1,800, 180, 250, 250. So my total energy expenditure for a day is 2,480. 2,480. So you need this much of calorie for your daily activity. So what will happen is now you need to know what, how much calorie that you intake. Because if you don't take the calories which is shown here, right, you may lose a lot of weight, right? But you need at least this to maintain your body. Right? So when you go to the gym, people will people need to know what is this and accordingly your trainer needs to increase uh, this amount if you want to lose more weight. But make sure from your food minimum you take this, this amount of calories. So that will give you a good idea. So people must be uh, thinking that uh, they're not losing weight, you're not gaining weight, uh, all those things. So this is, you, you need to know this for that to happen, right? So thank you very much, guys. Um, I'll come up with another video uh, when it comes to calorie intake, right? Thank you.